everybody welcome to your favorite show youth diary kidney problems and issues are increasing day by day to today we have with us dr georgi k nainan senior calcium and nephrologist pvs memorial hospital and lake show hospital welcome sir to the program so doctor you can see an increasing trend in kidney issues these days so what are the basic kidney problems and to what extent you can prevent them kidney diseases are increasing in kerala <clears throat> to know about the kidney diseases you have to know what is the function of a kidney kidneys are two organs situated on either side of the spinal cord and uh, 20% of the heart pumping goes through the kidneys they filter this uh, waste materials water and uh, what is going out in a concentrated form is called urine around uh, 180 liters of fluid is filtered in a day but what is coming out is only 2 to 3 liters which is called as urine mm-hmm. so excretory function is one in addition it metabolizes certain hormones which are necessary to keep the blood pressure to keep the hemoglobin production in the bone marrow it also produces certain hormones like vitamin D activate the vitamin D which is needed for our bone and to strengthen the bone calcium metabolism so in other words kidney is a chemistry which maintains the blood biochemistry this triad is called nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome does not mean any disease it is just like saying that you have fever to us so nephrotic syndrome anybody having this is this so what are the causes of nephrotic syndrome or kidney disease like this protein leaking one is primary disease of the kidney is uh, seen mainly in younger people children adolescent as you advance in life this can occur less often but more refractory to treatment okay. they won't respond to the conventional treatment they have got a brittle form of uh, disease okay. the same disease occurring in elderly people so we classify them into three group good group bad group intermediate group or to response to treatment so there are many other internal diseases like diabetes and long standing blood pressure and some of the diseases with joint pain in females as well as Uh, some of the drugs they all can produce protein in the leakage protein leakage in the urine coming into nephritis or nephrotic syndrome then how do we diagnose this so let's move on to the another question this is the question hi amadul what are the drug induced problems very interesting second question is uh, drug induced kidney problems when we say drug induced kidney problems the commonest thing which comes to my mind is pain killer producing problem it can be dose dependent when you take a lot of pain killers for your headache or back pain or see second is even some people have allergic hypersensitivity reaction to one tablet there are many young people who have come to me with the blood in the urine puffiness of the face they have taken some proof and or like that medications for we call it as non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs nsaids okay this is some people 7% of kidney problem which i handle in my day to day practice is due to drug drug allergy in the kidney okay selectively in the kidney no no itching no rash nothing only in the kidney presenting as blood in the urine puffiness albumin leakage or oh, there are eight or nine families of medications which are coming in the group of nsaid second group which we deal is in the hospital radio contrast dye nowadays everybody goes for ct scan angiogram coronary angiogram now we'll go to the answer segment there are few queries that we've got through mail so we'll go to the first mail the first mail goes like what's a urinary tract infection yeah urinary tract infection means infection bacterial infection in the bladder or in the kidney see before the antibiotic 
our parents all suffered from urinary infection mm -hmm. there are only very few antibiotics then a lot of antibiotics came and urinary infection came down mm -hmm. for any irritation in the bladder in the in the bladder or any pustules in the urine they will give antibiotics antibiotic. so now we have the pendulum is taken to the other side there is a re emergence of urinary infection again which is again troubling us this urinary infection is characterized by dysuria means pain while passing urine or burning sensation mm -hmm. classically described in a recently married female it's called as honeymoon cystitis even because uh, they have got e coli which is in the gut which will come into the bladder because of more frequent uh, uh, intercourse mm -hmm. and the bladder gets involved so it's known as honeymoon cystitis known as dysuria passing urine frequently pain in the lower abdomen and uh, blood in the urine